Well, hello. Today, I have a Redbox review for you, and it's on Hugo. Enough of that. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get in front of you. Let's turn that off. Let's turn all this off. It's kind of distracting. But I don't have my tripod, so I pretty much have to get down like this. It's because this is the only, this is the best I can do. And today I rented Hugo from the Red Box, and it stars Ben Kingsley. And I don't know who the kid is. He was in, he was in a few other things. But I do know the girl. She was, you know, Hit Girl, and she was also in the Amityville Horror, the remake, obviously. And what else? She was in Big Mama's House too. She was in a lot of things, but you know. That's not, she's not really the main person, but she's one of the main people. It also has the living legend Christopher Lee in this. And you know, when I think of living legends, I think of him, Mickey Rooney, Ernest Borgnine, Kirk Douglas, Eli Wallach. I, I think of all those people. I would think of, you know, Kevin McCarthy and Bill Irwin, but I'm pretty sure they both passed away in 2010. And of course, you know, Gloria Stewart passed away in 2010. And before them, it, it would have been a. Uh, probably would have been, what? Charles Lane. But I'm running out of breath already. But I'm going to show you the disc here. That's what it looks like. It's pretty standard text. Well, it's not really standard text, but it's, you know, there's really nothing here going on. It's blank, blank title. But this one was about. This kid in this um, this train station, he's living in the walls, kind of like Bad Ronald or something, but he's running around, he's winding up all the clocks because that's what his um, Uncle Claude told him to do when, his, when something happened to his father. I'm not going to say why, I'm going to let you find out when you watch the movie, but um, he, something happens to his father and his father was working on this automaton. So he starts working on the automaton to, because apparently he thinks there might be a message when he gets, because pretty much what it's doing, it's got a, like a pen in its hand and it's about to write something on this, uh, like this paper. So he wants to figure out what it is. So he's working on this automaton. He's winding the clocks. He's, you know, going around stealing things from all these people, you know, to, to, oops. To figure out, you know, he, he needs to find all these pieces that will you know, um, work for this automaton. Uh, what he needs, you know, so he pretty much just steals them. But Ben Kingsley catches him one day and he has him work for him. Because um, he uh, takes his notebook that he needs. And to get his notebook back, he, um, he has him work for him. And he is plays a really big part later in the movie because it's pretty much all about him in like the last hour. But pretty much the what when they fix the automaton it has this message and it has his name in it. And that's when the adventure really begins. That's pretty much the movie, I suppose, but there's more. I just don't I don't want to give away like everything. I want you to see it, you know, and be surprised yourself about some of it. But out of 10, I give it like a eight and a half or so. But I really like this. Um, I'll probably buy it at one point. But it's pretty good. I don't really have much else to say about that one. I have a lot to say about the next one, though, which is The Thing. So I'll stop the camera, and if you want to watch that review, you can you know, go to that review. So I'll see you all later. Where's my remote?